Hey guys, CCG Collector here, and it is time to finish off this Wyvern Kingdom booster box. Looks like I have, I should have, six left in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, and what have we got here? So this, I don't know, it's like a little little ticket. Maybe it's the box's number, serial number. I, I See, I saw in another YouTube video, someone commented on it. Someone said that, the, the guy in the video said that older games, uh, older, you know, games from the early 90s, like Magic, the early boxes, had tickets like this. Obviously, Wyvern does too. I don't know what it's there for. I don't want to throw it away, but, you know, I guess I'm the CCG booster box serial number ticket collector as well, in addition to just the CCG collector. But that's that. That's the end of the box. But not before we have five booster packs to open. Six. But one has a dented corner because I was careless in throwing it at my playmat. We're going to hope it doesn't have a dented corner. Alrighty. Kick things off with the uncommon mansion in the sky. All face-up flying dragons in this row are now in mansion in the sky. Non-flying dragons lose two strength for the rest of the battle with a dragon in the mansion. Subterranean lair. Any subterranean dragon is now yours. The dragon stays on the subterranean lair. Okay, so in another video I had said that wyvern wording is a bit unusual, that there's a lot of implied specificity if there is such a thing. A lot of implied specificity that nonetheless does not show up on the card. So, like this one says, any subterranean dragon is now yours. What it's actually saying is any subterranean dragon who attacks this face down card, turning a face up and revealing it, is now yours. But you should just know that, shouldn't you? So, this is, this is an example of that. Uh, it doesn't mean any one, it doesn't mean any on the battlefield, it doesn't mean any outside of the game or inside of the game or in the deck. It means if a dragon attacks it and it's subterranean, you get it. There it is. And Echidna. Looks more womanly and dragon-like than I remember Echidnas being. I thought they were spiny little hedgehog dudes, but whatever. Strength 3. If it wins a battle, you may turn any face-up dragon face down. And King Arthur is our rare. Any Dragon Slayer card played this turn cannot be countered with a reaction card. Very nice. And we've got some commons. Commons, commons. I know you guys have seen all these before. I'm positive because I have seen all these before. And if I've seen it, everyone must have seen it, right? That's logic. Pack number two. Oh, no. Pack number two does not want to open... Well, tough luck, pack number two. Tetzel Worm. I mean, heck, I'm seeing repeats of Uncommons, but that's just the nature of these booster boxes. Now, the nice thing is, despite it seeming like there's not a great distribution in the sets, like I've opened, maybe they fixed it since then, but I've opened Premier Limited starter decks, which have multiple copies of the same common card in them. Uh, it seems like the rares tend to have a pretty good spread, at least. Poison Chalice. I say that. I've already pulled this one from this booster box, but it's a great card, so I'm not going to worry about that. The side with the lowest strength wins this battle. Fantastic. And then we've got our commons. Dragon Slayers. Uh, St. George removes any one treasure from the game. But if you have Princess Libya out... She must be the treasure. St. George must rescue Princess Libya instead of removing any other treasure in your battlefield. Hmm. Dwarven army. Pick a treasure. I'm surprised this is a... I am surprised this is a common because I've had very good luck with it. My opponent was running a card called Aaron's Rod, I think. Basically, you discard a card from your hand to increase your dragon's strength. And I said, pick a treasure. I'm going to... Discard this treasure and take one of my opponents. And that swung the game in my favor. I didn't win the game, but it swung it in my favor at least. It was not a the blowout that it otherwise would have been. Alright, what's in pack number... Ooh, that is one I don't believe I've ever seen before. Or at least not recently. Trap. 
this dragon now belongs to you. So any dragon that attacks the face down terrain, it flips face up and pops. This dragon now belongs to you. It stays on the trap in your battlefield. Pay two gold each of your draw phases to keep dragon. Well, that's cool. If trap is removed or you don't pay, it goes back to your opponent. Fun. Python. Another echidna, so that's kind of what I was talking about. Magnetic field. Good. That's a card I needed for two reasons. One, because it's, well, a card I need. But two, because I want to shoot a video outlining the differences between the sets. And this is one of the cards that was changed from Premier Limited to Limited and changed again from Limited to Kingdom. I think the Premier Limited to Limited change was um, a gold cost. I think it went from one to two. And then there was a wording clarification in the Kingdom reprint. But we'll see. Magnetic Field can be played at any time to counter the play of any kind of action card. Awesome. Meteor Shower, City, Sir Lancelot. What does he do? Three or less, okay. Treasure and Princess Libya. Do I have two Princess Libyas? No, the other one's Maiden in Distress. Okay. Alright. So, keep a good thing going. What have we got in here? We have got Mushusu, Seacrops, no ravens can be played by either side in a battle that he's a part of. I think ravens is plus two to a flying dragon, I think. Tunnel and fog. Fog is our rare? Okay, no archers can be used in this battle. Feels weak to me, but maybe it's an R2. You know, there are R2s and there are R1s, and R2s are twice as... Eh. R1s are twice as rare. It feels strange saying R2s are twice as common. So, there we go. Pack number five. Come on. Uh, this dragon looks familiar. This dragon looks very familiar. Mushusu. Ia. That dragon does not look familiar at all. Wow, cool. Pay gold in battle to raise the strength by one for each gold piece paid. That's nice. I, I mean, you might as well do it because you have to, when you play a dragon, you have to pay for a strength anyway. So here you pay zero and then you just paid whatever you need them to be. Cool. Ruins. Indra. Oh, I hope that, I think that's an ink spot. Drat. Hate ink spots. Strength two flying can help any dragon in a battle. Very cool. Or help gold shortage, crystal ball, flame breathing, avalanche lair, ra, and jewels. Okay, and the last pack. Last pack of the booster box, last pack of the video. It better have a stellar rare in it. I'm thinking one of the Chinese dragons. Red, yellow, black, uh, green, violet, I think. Come on, come on, come on. Raha, Ryu, Genderiwa. Okay. <laughs> oh, that seems good. A player of your choice misses next turn. I have never even seen that card before, so hey, I'll I'll take that for sure. A player of your choice. Wow. For I mean, it's it's expensive. It's four gold. I think that's the most any card costs in the game. Uh, there are several that cost four gold, but I mean, there are none that cost five. Pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. Because, I mean, four gold is a sixth of your gold supply. Anyway, that is Wyvern Kingdom. These are my rares. Some good stuff here. And I am the CCG Collector. So thank you all for watching, and I will see you next time.